In the event that we remove the lines, the most fascinating star I believe is the star that could be stunning in our sky. It is this one, insect squeeze or scarab juice. It's a red monster star. On the off chance that you put it where the sun is, it would reach out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's tremendous, very temperamental, and going to detonate. It's not as straightforward as it appears to be in the universe. These colossal events, like the most dreaded tremendous starbursts, could shake all that we see and don't see to its center. However, Betelgeuse has been viewed as a sign, a red, very monster star that is multiple times greater than our sun. Brian Cox and other space experts figure it could go supernova at any time. People are generally scared of what will happen because the James Webb Space Telescope is taking stunning photos of the star. When precisely will Betelgeuse become a supernova, and how huge of an impact will it have on Earth? Let us figure out a star in the constellation Orion that shines so brilliantly that even people from a long time ago have seen it. The notable star Betelgeuse is situated on the eastern shoulder of the constellation Orion. Scarab Juice is the second largest star in the constellation. Its name comes from this element, the giant shoulder. It is one of the most brilliant stars in the night sky. On top of being exceptionally bright, the star is also an odd shade of red which, as we will see, is an indication of trouble. We've had some significant awareness of bug juice for quite a while. A Greek researcher named TMY also concentrated on it. Around that time, the only thing people realized about stars was their color. TMY said that creepy crawly juice was an orange color. Researchers have been studying the star much more closely of late and now have a smart idea of what works everything out, such that unusually brilliant. One of these characteristics is that the star changes brightness a lot, with an apparent magnitude of 0.6. Bug juice is a variable star, which means that its brightness changes over time. However, as of late, specialists have discovered some new information about the star. In 2019, researchers first noticed that Betelgeuse was acting strangely. Despite the fact that Betelgeuse didn't completely stop shining, it wasn't the same since it had become substantially less brilliant shining at a magnitude of around 1.6. Researchers immediately began to investigate why they were seeing the 10th most brilliant star overhead in this peculiar manner. Researchers have had to make a startling declaration based on their research, which ended in the abnormal signs the star has recently shown. Researchers say that Betelgeuse could go supernova at any time. Brian Cox is a notable researcher who offered this extremely perilous expression. As a notable professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Astronomy, you shouldn't take his attitude as a joke. He also has a science show, writes quite a number of notable science books, and is the Royal Society Professor for Public Engagement with Science. Brian Cox says creepy crawly juice resembles a ticking delayed bomb since it could go off at any second. To exacerbate the situation, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown a huge amount of evidence to back up this statement. However, what bizarre signs has Scarab Juice given that have brought such a lot of hardship in space science? In light of new data about bug juice, the star has been labeled as a supernova candidate. However, researchers are still not certain when it will detonate. The fact that creepy crawly juice is around 15 times the mass of the sun is one explanation for this classification. A star, as it were, should be multiple times the mass of the sun to be known as a supernova. Things get really fascinating, however, because researchers have utilized many devices to investigate Betelgeuse, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, to watch what's going on in space around Scarab Juice. What they found is still fascinating. The Sun was born on August 31st, a long time ago. Around that time, the star insect juice was seen to give weird indications that made its future hazy. What did they find? However, they could get peculiar light waves coming from the star, or in the course of Betelgeuse, which is extremely weird. Yet it wasn't the only thing specialists saw from the star. This takes us back to the possibility that Betelgeuse is a star whose brightness changes. Sometimes it was said that creepy crawly juice darkened down at regular intervals and had dark spots, very much like our sun today. However, the situations are different. It changes from bright to dim twice as fast as it used to, which is another abnormal sign that Scarab Juice is back. 
researchers found that the star's darkening cycle had hit a V-band brightness of plus 1.614 in February 2021. This was shortly after the tremendous dimming event. Remember how the star appeared to diminish in a weird way in 2019? That's because it's generally known as the Great Darkening. We could see that the Great Dimming was the beginning of Betelgeuse's bizarre behavior, and that's what made many people worry Betelgeuse was going to detonate. The range of dimming was 1.2 between 2019 and 2020, and the lowest degree of dimming ever recorded was in 2019. So specialists were sure that Betelgeuse would go supernova in the next 100,000 years because of the extraordinary darkening. There is a part happening in the universe, so this is really unnerving. Researchers immediately changed their minds, however, when they saw what occurred next. Insect juice got brighter again after the great dimming and turned into something significantly more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says that the star is now 150% more brilliant than normal, making it the seventh most brilliant star overhead right now. Researchers were frightened when they saw a red glow in the southern half of the globe today. It still gets more interesting because this has led to a lot of different thoughts about what caused the great dimming. First, it's important to note that not all stars have the red sparkle of creepy crawly juice. The red sparkle of Betelgeuse is an indication of a red supergiant star, which is the last phase of a star's life and death. The red gleam, on the other hand, is shockingly brought about by a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, which is a lot cooler than the outer layer of the sun, which is 5,500 Kelvin. Since bug juice is cooler than our sun, it gives off less energy per unit of surface area, despite the fact that it is greater and going to explode. Now we should discuss what the Great Darkening looked like. Brian Cox asks, does it mean that insect juice is about to go supernova? Really, the fact that Betelgeuse is a red supergiant already demonstrates that it is nearly finished with its life as a star. A star that is dying will also typically dim over time, which is something that researchers settle on. Even so, insect juice's new unusual behavior made researchers considerably more stressed, and many telescopes are now concentrating on the Great Darkening. Still, things get more interesting because specialists still don't have a deep understanding of creepy crawly juice. Researchers are now utilizing the most cutting-edge tools to watch out for the fascinating things happening around Betelgeuse. The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the best tools researchers have used thus far. Beginning in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in space and has helped researchers learn a lot about Betelgeuse. The new pictures of Betelgeuse's extraordinary dimming taken by this telescope have shown that the event caused a surface mass ejection. Based on new research, we now know that this mass ejection was around 400 billion times greater than a typical coronal mass ejection. The James Webb Space Telescope can also check things out that our eyes can't see, like light waves and frequencies. Hence, researchers are excited about what the telescope will find. Researchers have seen dust clouds forming on the star's surface that seem to be leaves in space. That doesn't make sense. Despite the fact that insect juice will die, Researchers are still watching out for it since they don't know when it will go supernova. Researchers believe that scarab juice is multiple times greater than the sun and that the radiant red star will shine for the next 10 years. However, if we look at the many unusual things occurring with the star, it's difficult to say if this statement will still be valid after the extraordinary darkening. So specialists don't think insect juice will explode at any time in the near future. If Betelgeuse explodes, it will be the first supernova we witness for ourselves since Johannes Kepler did in 1604. Researchers also don't want this to happen soon because they are still watching out for the star's weird behavior. Despite the fact that researchers are certain that Betelgeuse will supernova, when precisely it will happen remains a mystery. If we analyze the universe without bias lines, quite possibly one of the most entrancing stars and perhaps the most surprising in our sky is Scarab Juice, frequently alluded to as bug juice. This red monster star, whenever placed where the sun is, would stretch out to Jupiter's orbit. This unbelievably gigantic, unstable star is on the edge of a blast. The universe doesn't work in such straightforward terms. Stupendous events, like the dreaded starbursts, could essentially adjust all that we see. Betelgeuse has shown fascinating signs. A red supergiant star that is multiple, times the size of our sun. Cosmologists, including Brian Cox, believe it could go supernova at any moment. 
The concern lies in the ramifications of this event, particularly since the James Webb Space Telescope has caught alarming pictures of the star. So when precisely will Betelgeuse become a supernova, and what effect will it have on Earth? It wasn't the same as before. It had become substantially dimmer, shining at a magnitude of around 1.6. Researchers quickly began to investigate why the tenth brightest star in the sky was displaying such peculiar behavior. They had to make a startling declaration based on their research, which revealed abnormal signs from the star. According to their findings, Betelgeuse could go supernova at any moment. Brian Cox, a renowned physicist, shared this alarming information. As a respected professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester, Cox's insights carry significant weight in the scientific community. He has authored several popular science books and hosts a science show, making him a prominent figure in public engagement with science. He likened creepy crawly juice to a ticking time bomb, emphasizing that it could explode at any second. The James Webb Space Telescope has provided extensive evidence to support this assertion, capturing stunning images that highlight the star's instability. Researchers have been particularly intrigued by Betelgeuse's unusual light patterns. For centuries, astronomers have observed its fluctuations, but recent studies suggest that these changes are becoming more pronounced. The star's brightness has shown rapid shifts, indicating it may be entering a critical phase of its life cycle. This variability raises questions about the processes occurring within the star and what they could mean for its future. In 2019, after a notable dimming event, Betelgeuse's brightness dipped to an all-time low, causing concern among astronomers. This phenomenon, referred to as the Great Dimming, led many to speculate that the star was approaching the end of its life. Scientists found that Betelgeuse is around 15 times the mass of our Sun, a significant factor in determining its fate. A star of this size typically undergoes dramatic changes before going supernova. Recent observations have indicated that Betelgeuse is currently 150% more luminous than usual, making it the seventh brightest star in our sky. This sudden increase in brightness has spurred various theories regarding its behavior. Some researchers believe it may be a precursor to the star's eventual explosion, while others suggest that environmental factors, such as dust clouds or changes in surface temperature, could be influencing its luminosity. The James Webb Space Telescope has become a crucial tool in this research. With its advanced capabilities, it can detect wavelengths of light that are invisible to the naked eye, providing deeper insights into the star's activity. For instance, the telescope has observed dust clouds forming on Betelgeuse's surface, which appear to resemble leaves in space. Despite the star's impending death, researchers are captivated by these findings and are eager to learn more. As Betelgeuse continues to exhibit erratic behavior, scientists remain on high alert. While they believe the star will likely remain bright for the next several years, predicting its ultimate fate is complex. If Betelgeuse does go supernova, it would be the first such event observable to the naked eye since Johannes Kepler witnessed a supernova in 1604. The implications of a nearby supernova are significant. Depending on its distance and the energy released, it could potentially affect Earth's atmosphere and life. Astronomers continue to monitor Betelgeuse closely, hoping to unravel its mysteries before any explosive conclusion. As we explore the cosmos, Betelgeuse serves as a compelling reminder of the dynamic and often unpredictable nature of stars. It captures the imagination not only of scientists but of anyone curious about the universe. The continuing research on this enigmatic star underscores the importance of advancements in technology, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, which allow us to probe deeper into the mysteries of the universe. Ultimately, the story of Betelgeuse is still unfolding. As researchers gather more data, we can look forward to a deeper understanding of its life cycle and what it reveals about the stars around us. Each new observation brings us closer to understanding when, or if, Betelgeuse will become a supernova and what that event will mean for our own planet.